Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to three scary games. I got some, I got some potential bangers for you guys today. This first one that we're gonna be playing is called the Perfect Spot. Now, as of today recording this, it had been a month since I made my last three scary games video, so I thought, why not keep the ball rolling? We might as well. I mean, at this point, I might as well do a three scary games once a month or twice a month or how. This first game is called The Perfect Spot. I don't know much about it. I, I briefly read the description on itch.io. It says it's five to 10 minutes and there's two endings. Without further ado, let's, I'm afraid of this shit. What is a perfect spot? It is a place where you make the best memories while the rest are silent. Oh, okay. I thought we were getting into some more dialogue, but I guess not. So the movements are pretty simple. Waz to interact with left mouse button and shift is to run. At least there's no control to crouch. You guys know how I feel about that button. Missing person? Oh no! They have a model! She's gone! The, tell me this does not look like somebody's Instagram photo. This is... <laughs> this is 100% somebody's Instagram picture. That is a selfie. You can't tell me otherwise. That's a selfie. Uh, find a perfect spot. Okay, so I don't... What the... Okay. I don't exactly know what the objective of the game is. I'm just supposed to find a perfect spot for what? Who knows? My idea when I saw the screenshots for this game, I thought you're finding the perfect spot to bury a body. Uh, this may not be correct, but I don't know. What is that? Is that supposed to be like a leaf in the water? Oh no, there's the model again. We gotta find her. We gotta save her. What if we are her? What if we are the missing persons? Get a shovel from the car. Are you serious? I gotta go all the way back there when I could have just brought one with me the first time? Why wasn't the first task to grab the shovel from the car? Why are you making me do extra work? And why does my game keep tweaking like this? Ah! It's too early in the morning for me to be frustrated. The sensitivity is too low, so when I like whip my my mouse to turn. It doesn't know what's happening because it's so stiff. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh no. Oh, okay, so we, <laughs> I should have known. So we are digging up a body. All right, we're burying one. We're finding the perfect spot to bury a body, but it's in a cemetery. So like, this is kind of what you're supposed to do. I mean, you don't have the proper jurisdiction to do it, but Ew. Oh. Oh. Hi there. Are you like a weeping angel situation? Nope. Okay, you're not. We're fine. It's all good. It's all okay for the time being. See? 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 This is what I'm talking about. I have to slowly move my mouse. Oh. Repent your sins in church. What if I don't? What if I just repent my sins to the statue that strangely moved out of nowhere? I'm so sorry. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> piss off. So are we, we're, are we the one who, t <laughs> I cannot with this picture, bro. Please take a closer look at this and tell, stop. All right, let me stop. So I think I'm the one who, who murdered these people because those are the, oh, Hi! 
Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Repent. I'm planning to repent. I'm gonna repent. God, I hate the slow turn because I can't. I can't whip my mouse around. I mean, I guess I can, but sometimes it just like does not cooperate with me. See? Like, that was a little too fast. Uh, is it just me or is the... Oh, 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 was that on the... You know, I need to stop being so scared, right? It's like, it's just... It... Oh, I should have been playing in the dark. I should have been turning my lights off. I should have been turning the volume up. I didn't get the proper experience. turning it back. I'm not turning it back. I'm just going through the door. Listen, I did what I had to do. I'm sorry. I took your lives and it wasn't my fault. I mean, okay. <laughs> Wait. Um, I took your lives and it was all my fault is what I meant to say. I cannot atone for my... What the hell am I supposed to do? Stab. Yeah, stab, stab who? Stab what? Oh. I keep missing the things that are on the ground. Oh. Stab myself? Stab the door? Stab the pictures of the children? Stab the model? I really want to know where they got that picture. Forget everything else in the game. I want to know where they got the picture of the model. <laughs> Oh, stab. Yeah! Ah! Ah! Oh. Okay. I wasn't just doing that for fun. There was a purpose to that. Got it. Listen, you can whisper in my ear all you want. I'm not going to get you any further to the truth. I'll never tell why I did what I did. Oh. Repent or go back. I think I'll repent. I'll repent for my sins. Oh, they got me. They got me. Who snitched? Who snitched? Okay. So that was one of two endings. I feel like if you were to go back, that would get you the second ending. So at least it's not like super complicated to get both endings. At least I don't think. Don't quote me on that, but we're going to try again. We're going to try to get that second ending. That's crazy that you actually have to find the spot before you can even take the shovel out of the car what the fuck that that's so repetitive i'm not complaining i i promise i'm not complaining it's not that big of a deal all right jump scare in three two one yeah i was ready for it this time fool me once that's one too many as suburban once said repent or go back i think i'll go back I didn't even it seriously was that the second ending no 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 I didn't even finish burying the body I just went to go repent and the body is still there no so if I go back after if I go back to the body after going out of the church, what happens? 
Do I get to finish the job? At least? No? Okay, I just I just leave the body there for the police to find. My fingerprints are all over it. I didn't see myself wearing any gloves or anything. I'm still leaving the shovel there. So I guess repenting for your sins gives you the most interesting ending. That's wild. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that was the perfect spot. A uh, next game! Our second game is called Go to Bed. I mean, you ain't you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Situation 1, Subject A. Go to bed. Go to, go to bed. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. The last game, the sensitivity wasn't high enough. This game, the sensitivity is too high. <laughs> oh. I was just trying to play around with the settings. I didn't know it kicked me out of the game. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We got ourselves a nice little spot here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Didn't even mean to do that, but I mean, you know, that's a thing. Okay. Gotta keep ourselves protected, I guess. I mean, I'm just going to bed. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. Wow. I didn't even realize these were things that I needed to do. I'm just, I'm just exploring. Look at me. Look at my big YouTuber brain. Got that protection on me. I locked the doors, armed the security systems. I closed my window. Which it shouldn't have been open in the first place. Wait, can I turn the lights off? Oh. Alright, I think I'm ready to go to bed. Good night. Did you lock the front door? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. <coughs> did you close the window? Yes, I did. Did you arm the security? Yep. Did you hide the knives? Yes. Well done, no one will get in. Okay, I didn't like that. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. I kind of want to know what happens if you just go to bed. All right, what do we got this time? Hide the knives. Basically, just hover over everything. Interact with everything possible. Arm the home security. Close the window. What was that? Um, lock the door. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nobody's getting in this time. Absolutely nobody's getting in. Unless the game hoes me, and then. Whatever this is over here is actually part of the situation. They just aren't letting me interact with it. Okay, I think I did everything. I think, uh... I think I did what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna be pissed if it... I'm gonna be pissed. Is the house secure? Yes? Are you sure? Yes. Good. 
What? <laughs> huh? Where am I? Oh, I don't... I don't like this. Oh, no, it's too dark. Oh, it is too dark. I need to leave now. Oh, my God. This is not what I thought I was getting myself into. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Locked. Okay, locked doors mean safety. It's my motto. Ooh. Ooh. Sir, are you okay? Ma'am, sir. Boss, Pooba. You can't scare me! If I scream in the face of fear, nothing can hurt me. I'm stronger than you. I'm gonna keep screaming until I exit. Oh, I need to find a way out. Oh. It's shut. I should check an alarm before I try it. Okay. It's armed. Maybe I can cut the wires with something. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. But I have no idea where the knives are. They put away anything useful. Oh. Oh. We were securing the house for not for intruders, but oh my God, we had somebody trapped in our basement and we were securing the house so that they wouldn't get out. We're switching roles. <laughs> That's so good. There's no escape. I need the code. There's no way out, maybe back downstairs. Oh, that's insane. Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> that was good. That, oh my God. That was so good. I'm baffled. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. The first level, it, it makes you think that the whole game is supposed to be you trying to secure your home for an intruder. But really, by the second, uh, by the second time, you're like, you know what I'm trying to say? Oh my God. By the second time you're securing your home, it's not for your safety. It's for the, the prevention of getting, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I gotta see what happens. I have to see what happens if you if you don't secure the home. What happens if you're able to get out? I actually just wanna try and see what happens if, uh, if you don't secure the first home either. I just wanna go to bed, see what happens. Yeah. Hello! Okay. Nothing special. All the excitement happens in situation two. I'm ready for it this time. So what if I just go to bed? Yes. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure that I'm sure that nobody's getting out of here. Hmm, okay, all right. I hate that I'm so experimental with these kind of games, but after I get out of here, I wanna see what happens if I just go to bed in this situation. So I'm gonna do everything that I need to do to get out of here. And then we're gonna escape because I didn't board anything up. I didn't secure the home.
Did they mess with you by getting rid of all the ambiance? I need to find a way out. Easy. Easy. It's open. I can sneak out. Oh, man. That wasn't very exciting. Okay. Give it one more try. So I'm just going to go to bed. No, I need to get out of here. Oh, okay, it doesn't even let you. Man! Uh, I wanted to see what would happen. I wanted to see what would happen. All right, so that was Go to Bed. That was probably my favorite game because of the plot twist so far. That was out of the out of the two that I've played so far. This one was my favorite. This is number one. Um, so I got one more. The next game. So our third and final game is called the Earl Street Massacre. Uh, the description of this game says that you are a workaholic and you're in an abusive work environment. So you come home to your loving wife and your comforting abode and there's somebody else who's already got plans for you. I don't, I don't know exactly. I didn't describe that very well. Anyways, let's get into it. Finally, I can believe, I can't believe I'm actually home. Those guys are the worst. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> they dropped all that work on me out of nowhere. I really thought I'd have to stay over tonight. Whatever, I'm too tired. I guess I'll take a shower. Maybe I'll watch a movie after. Honey, I'm home. Okay, maybe the mouse sensitivity is a little too high. All right, this is a little bit better. Hold was to move. Ease to interact. Aw, did my child draw this for me? Do I have a child? So this is the master bedroom. So I have to have a child, right? Unless this is... What the fuck? Whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. My laundry room. And my bathroom. Interesting choice. I'm just exploring at the moment. Looking around my house. Oh. Oh. Of course we've got a basement. Because you can't have a horror game without a basement. <laughs> Alright. There's a knife here. I don't think that was placed there by accident. We're most definitely going to need that. So I got to remember that that's on the kitchen counter. I'm so tired. They really didn't let me take a break today. My clothes are a mess too. I should throw them in the washing machine first. Alright. Well, maybe you should have said that then. Fucking dick. Making me jump through hoops. Now I can shower? Now I can shower. Ah! Yeah, where, what's that mouse meme? The mouse taking a shower with its uh, mouse showering or whatever? I don't know. Hmm. I wonder where Anna is. She's usually home by now. Maybe her bus is running late. I should try calling her later. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. There should be some leftovers in the fridge I can eat. I can't wait to finally just crash on the couch. You said it, buddy. You said it. We should probably take these out of the wash so it's not all mildewy. Did I get dressed? Or am I just freeballing it around the house? On the couch? Yeah. Okay. I guess we're going to eat on the couch. Aww. Oh, my favorite show is on today. It's a shame Anna's not home yet. What is this, spaghetti? Hey, hey, y'all saw my Spaghetti Quest video? If you didn't, what are you doing? Go watch it. Please. Huh? Someone's at the front door. I wonder who it is this late. Maybe it's Anna? The person you were expecting to come home? Did I grab this knife? I should definitely close that fridge.
just to be prepared. Why are all your windows open? You know what? I deserve to die. Whoever it is, I deserve to die. Hello? Damn it, stupid kids. Ding dong ditching at this hour. I can't believe I had to get up for this. I really hope I haven't missed anything. Miss anything like what? What the hell? You've got to be kidding me. The washing machine tripped the... The washing machine. Tripped the breaker again? It's so dark. There should be a flashlight in the kitchen. I really hope the batteries are still good. Alright, well. I'm seeing shadows, man. Truth be told, like I said, I deserve to die. In the kitchen. I'm not seeing a flashlight in the kitchen. There we go. There you are. Let's see if it still works. Ugh. I hate going down to the stupid basement. I've always found it creepy for some reason. Yeah, no, I wonder why. It's not like it's a basement in a horror game or anything. It's not like there's already somebody down there waiting for us. But you know what? I'm not scared. I'm a boss ass bitch. I own this home. I pay insurance. I pay the rent. I pay the mortgage or whatever. What the hell? Oh my God, Anna. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. She's dead. I, I have to get help now. Oh, she's been dead for a while. There's flies. Help! Help! My wife is dead! Help! He's escaping! The killer got my wife and he's escaping! Arr. Jump scares incoming. Jump scares. What the? Damn it! What the hell was that? I can't stay here. I need to hide somewhere. Ah, oh, shit. Where? Where would I have to hide? Shit. I don't even know. want to know what that noise was. So I can't go this way? I'm not going there. Okay. All right. Fine. I got you. Fuck. Where the hell am I supposed to even hide in here? Under the table? I feel like they'd be expecting that. I should have hidden that closet. Under the table is way too obvious. At least it's not fierce to fathom where you have to actually be quiet because it's tracking your mic. Because I can be loud as I can be as loud as I want. Ha! -ha you can't find me, fucking bitch. You're mad. You're stupid. El bozo. Plus ratio. You'll never find me. Just leave. You got my wife. You won. I'm a depressed, miserable old man now. Now's my time to run. Okay. So I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, but I'm not moving fast enough. I'm not moving at a now's my chance to run pace. Come on. Open, open, open! Open! Shit! No, 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 no! Open already, damn it! Ah! Well, whoever it is behind me has got me. I'm... Oh, 
Oh my gosh, what is that, a Timberlands boot? <laughs> this is the first game I ever made, so it might be a bit janky. I hope you enjoyed. I did. I enjoyed the game. It was a nice game. It was very interesting. I would have to say that if I were going to rank these games, Go to Bed was my favorite just because of the plot twist and the way that it, like, it, it changed, like, your thought process and, like, you, it, it subverted your expectations of, like, oh, I'm locking all this stuff up for an intruder. Whereas, like, in scenario three or situation three, you were the kidnapped. You were kidnapped and placed in this basement. Because I was looking at the hatch, I was like, we should lock this hatch, right? Or something like that. I don't know. But then... If, oh, it was so good. That realization, that, that click in my brain. Second place, though, is kind of hard because Earl Street Massacre was really good. It didn't have really any jump scares. I wasn't... I would put the perfect spot at number two just because it did have a jump scare in it. It was small, and I could have avoided being jump scared by that if I weren't such a stupid idiot. But... It had a jump scare in it. So we're going to have to put that in second place. The Earl Street is third, not because it was horrible. It was well done, well made, but I didn't feel that fear. You know, I wasn't filled with fear. If you want to see my last video, which was a game called Spaghetti Quest, definitely recommend watching that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy was in the kitchen rest of twisting like it's stir fried. I will have that link somewhere around here. If you want to see my last three scary games video, I'll also have that link somewhere around here. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. Be sure to lock your doors at night when you're going to bed. <laughs>